Rockbreaker Studios! Here at Rockbreaker Studios, I wanted to show some of my art. This is a watercolor and ink drawing I did a while back. That's just pencil, you know, with a smudge stick, maybe HBs. <laughs> nice little fairy. This is uh, oil paints. Uh, this is just an experiment a while back. I normally don't have patience for painting because it takes so long. Uh, another just ink drawing. Of course it was penciled first, and then uh, microns. Uh, another, I believe this is actually pencil. This is very old. Van Helsing style. <laughs> uh, this is definitely just pencil with smudge stick. This is very, very early drawing of mine. I'm talking probably a decade old. Here is uh, one of my Resident Evil tributes. I have a couple, but this was really fun to do. Uh, this is ink with Micron. This is when I was getting a little better. Um, this is back from 07, so I'll tell you how long it's been. Uh, just a computer overlay messing with effects in Photoshop. It was digitally colored. It was just a standard pencil sketch before that. Uh, another thing that was a pencil sketch that I colored in Photoshop. And this is back when I was coloring with a mouse, by the way, before I uh, had my Surface Pro. Uh, this got to be colored pencil and pencil with ink. Just uh, one weird thing I did there. These owls are made out of plywood, painted with acrylics, and then clear coated over. They're about, uh, I want to say, 16 inches tall. Maybe bigger? Oh, this is a very fantasy drawn in pen. Uh, it's very complicated and rich, full of detail. Yeah, this is awesome. This is awesome. Reminds me of an acid trip. Uh, this is drawn and colored on one of my Surface Pro programs with a paint brush. So it looks like it's actually oil paint, but it's digital. Uh, flower pot I painted with acrylics and then clear coated it. This was a birthday or Christmas present, I can't remember. Probably birthday judging on what it looks like outside there. Just a dragonfly. Ah, this I don't have the final copy of, but this was inspired by the old 70s um, drawing. Very complicated, a lot of detail. Man, maybe I should make some of those adult coloring books. <laughs> Could be a way to make some side cash. And here we have it started watercolored. I did finish this, but I do not have a copy of the picture of the final version of it at all. Ah, just a tree I drew in that digital program that came with my Surface Pro with the oil paints. And I wanted to see what it looked like more cartoonish, like comic book like I do. I think it turned out pretty good. Alright, this is step one of an overall picture that's going to get time-lapse here somewhat. These pictures aren't the best quality, so forgive me. Here's step two. We added in some more watercolor and some more shading. Step three, it's fully done with inked outlines. You'll see why chunks of it are missing in a second here. <clears throat> This is uh, after I penciled it, I gave it a light inking just to start it out. And then we do a quick shade with watercolor to get the base colors down. And then we go into more detail with watercolor. It's more of a dry brush kind of deal, so they don't run as much. But we add in color, shading, texture. And here it is outlined in ink finally. As you can see, it looks very, very good. And here she is cut out with the X-Acto knife, as I like to do because it gives it a 3D look in the long run. And here she is overlaid with the two parts. 
Sadly though, I never actually got around to finishing it and I'm sure my art style's gotten a little different now. But hey, if you like this, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, like it. Every little bit helps my channel and thanks for checking this out. And I will see you next time. If you, if you do like this, make sure to let me know so I can do more of this art stuff. Alright, thanks. And we'll catch you on the flip side.